How to perform the travel function for your EGA control board. Make sure you have not set the auto close setting yet. Once you have your actuator arm installed and the wiring completed, you will be required to run the travel function so the EGA control board can learn the open and close limits. Firstly, make sure your control board is powered up. If installing a solar system, make sure your battery is connected. If installing an electric system, make sure your transformer is connected and turned on. The control board now needs to know that the gate will be in the open position. Activate your gate with a remote. If your gate is in the closed position, it will now open. Make sure to note on the LCD screen on the control board that it reads OP for opening, and when it's fully opened, it will read SP to stop. However, if your gate is already in the open position when you press your remote to activate the gate, it will pull back slightly and you will notice OP register on the LCD screen and when the gate stops, you will notice SP. Now that you have your gate in the open position and the control board recognises this, we will now perform the travel function. On the control board, you will notice the DEC and INC buttons. You will need to press and hold these two buttons down at the same time. And when the gate takes off to close, you will release the two buttons. The gate will fully close, then stop and reopen to its full open position. Please note, if setting up double gates with the travel function, each gate will close one at a time and then fully reopen one at a time. You have now performed the travel function.